Just you may begin. Baking is a lot like chemistry. You need a certain amount of certain things to get the right product for the right occasion. If you get a compound of chemistry, you need a little of this element, a little of that element. Same goes for baking. You need some flour, some sugar, and some eggs, and voila, you have a pastry or a recipe. Most of the time, things have to go in a certain order for the product to turn out right. You also have to be careful when you're trying to prepare something for the recipe, as you might get injured. If you couldn't tell, I'm planning to be a pastry chef. On typical days, pastry chefs bake and cook certain recipes to make sweet, delicious desserts, pastries, and breads. Sometimes they can make ice creams and sorbets, too. One of the famous pastry chefs you might have heard of is Buddy Velastro, or the cake pop. My first career choice was to be a self-employed baker. There would be no one to boss me around, and I can do what I want. My third career choice is graphic designer. My love of art will be shown, but not by cooking. My second career choice is a personal chef. Same as a self-employed baker, but I don't get to make the rules. Opportunity cost is the highest value choice besides the top choice, or the second choice. My opportunity cost is being a personal baker. I give up this opportunity to become a self-employed baker, even though personal bakers earn a set amount of money. Meanwhile, self-employed bakers get paid based on job popularities, the job spent on society. Still, I choose to be self-employed because I like to do, because I like to work by myself and do my own thing. One of the positives of this career is that baking brings out my love of making things. Also, baking relaxes me, and people seem to enjoy what I make most of the time. The negative is that in my career there are several opportunities to get hurt. Getting burned is one of the major pro um, problems among bakers around the world. Working with oven stoves and hot foods causes the burn. Bakers also work with knives and other sharp objects like mixer blades, dough and cookie cutters, graters, peelers, and several other utensils. They usually get cut a lot because most of the time they work at a super fast pace, resulting in several slips and mistakes. Going fast means no sitting or slowing down. Bakers have to stand for extended periods of time without rest. Also, a lot of recipes need to be done extremely carefully with no room for error. Even the temperature has to be exact right down to the degree. Bakers also don't get paid a lot. My annual salary is $38,000, so my monthly budget is $3,166.67. My parents and I were way off in some of the budget item estimates, but in the long run they were closer than I was. For transportation on my spreadsheet, I chose to only take public transportation, cutting down on my transportation costs by several hundred dollars. Because I'll only have to pay for, because I won't have to pay for like car insurance, gas, stuff like that. I will be living in New York City, so public transportation won't be hard to find. On my pie graph, the category that took up most of the budget was housing. It took up 28%. I was surprised at how much taxes were. They took up 22% of my monthly budget. The remainder of my money went into discretionary, which is like charity, pets, savings, and things like that. And it made up 19% of my budget. Food didn't cost much because I lived alone, so it only took up 9%. The utility only took up 8%, and both medical insurance and school loans took up 5%. Transportation took up 3%, and toiletries were the cheapest and barely made it in my budget. They only took up 1%. A trade-off is giving up one thing to get another. One of my trade-offs was that I gave up having more free time to earn more money. I also gave up being a personal chef and becoming a pastry chef who earns less, but can have whatever the job they want, being self-employed or working for a company. I will, um, oh yeah, I will get hurt, but I can do what I want. On my resume, it states that I went to the Institute of Culinary Education, or ICE. I want to go to this college because I feel it has the right price and has flexible class times. The degree I got was a pastry and baking arts diploma. My skills I put down were that I was patient, great at following directions, worked well under pressure, creative, and flexible. The experience were that I worked at Magnolia Bakery in 2020 and Little Girl Cookies in 2019. My references were 
Ogden and Mexico who was living in New York. In my letter of application, I wrote to Samantha Waters at Bates in New York City. I was applying for the pastry chef opening. My five websites were career audio videos, where I looked at what pastry chefs do on a typical day. Career link inventory, where I took a test over what job I should have. Drive of your life, which showed them several, several typical job days. Show me the future, which simulated the life of several expenses and situations. An Australian government job account, which showed what job job was to be best for me. So, during the career in that, I find many things, most of them about planning for the future. I am seriously thinking about becoming a pastry chef. I think it will be the best job for me because I need to express my love for cooking and art all at once. There are several ways I can go with this career. With some of the options being a company baker or my personal 